It's Mark Weens. I am in Saigon, Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam, and I am sitting down for a meal that is probably one of my, my favorite Vietnamese, uh, me well, one of my favorite Vietnamese uh, meal combinations uh, called Ba La Lop. Balalop. Balalop. And this? Bao Mo Chai. Bao Mo Chai. Ah. Nem Ah, okay. Okay. Oh. So this, this is a very uh, typical, actually it's, it's very common as a street food in Vietnam at night. Uh, but this is a restaurant that is actually open for lunch, so it's rare to find this for lunch, I think. Uh, but this is truly one of the, the most amazing uh, Vietnamese creations. I ordered up a whole set here, and uh, the main event is the bola lop, which are uh, like, it's like minced beef uh, mixed with some spices and then wrapped in uh, piper lalat leaves, which are also wild, wild beetle leaves. They're like skewered and grilled and topped with peanuts and scallions and maybe some scallion oil. And then it is always served with an abundance of fresh herbs and vegetables. And then also um, Vietnamese, Vietnamese rice paper to wrap everything up. So the first step, I'm just gonna take one of the Vietnamese rice papers. I'm gonna top it with a piece of lettuce. Some of these beautiful Vietnamese herbs. Oh, there's some chives as well. Nice. Never go wrong with chives. Uh, and then I will proceed to add one of the... They're almost like... You can almost think of them as beef spring rolls, but instead of like a, a fried dough wrapper, they're wrapped in leaves. Grab one of these beautiful guys, and these are actually good size. Uh, nice, nice and big ones too. Stick that into the the roll. Oh, and then I gotta go in, oh, I almost forgot the rice noodles. It's also a necessary uh, part of it. So load that in. Next up, some pickled vegetables. And I think that is uh, green, green banana. Green banana, unripe banana. And sometimes you'll also get like star fruit. Okay, and then the final step for me is chili, which I just love immensely. Add in, oh man, a nice layer of chili. I'm gonna do my best to roll this without, without breaking it um, into a Vietnamese, oh man, I'm never the best roller, but that's all right. All right, and then the final step is to dip in the sauce. Marvelous. Oh man. Oh. Oh, I'm just, I'm just, just getting juice all over my fingers. Oh, that's so good. The little balalop, they almost taste like, uh, almost taste like a Middle Eastern sausage, um, a beef sausage. And then those, those leaves have a little bit of a, an herb flavor and then a really beautiful uh, burnt roasted flavor from being, being like charred, grilled over open coals. That's just, it's just sensational. And then paired with all those herbs, the sauce is a little bit fishy and a little bit sweet and kind of nutty as well. There might, be, there might be some citrus in there, like maybe some pineapple. Um, this is just, this is my kind of a meal. And the combination of the ingredients, the, the salty meat with all the fresh ingredients is insanely good. Uh, this is, I love it. The ladies here are so nice. 
she has given me a whole plate of, of egg rolls, fried egg rolls, the jia ya, and also a sample of the nam nam nung, nam nung, nam nung, which is the Vietnamese uh, like grilled sausage. All right, let me. They look beautifully golden, crispy. Oh, bathe in. Oh yeah, nice and crispy, and then a salty meat interior. I think there's actually some taro, maybe some taro in here, because it has kind of that uh, starchy, kind of a starchy component to it in the in the middle. I'm gonna try some of the nam nung, and I might actually, I'll probably need a, a leaf of lettuce. Some herbit. My side. It's just like a, it's like a breakfast sausage with a nutty flavor. Um, it is delicious, wonderful, wonderful. Maybe a little bit of scallion oil is on that as well. These are also popular at this restaurant. They're like little sausage nuggets. Um, and yeah, I think it's similar to the, the beef insides of the balalop, except no, no leaf wrapper. So they're just like the meat, the pure meat. I think I might double up on the meat on this one. Oh yes, that's like a two patty hamburger. Chives. Pickles. Oh. I gotta squish it down. All right. This one got a little large. It, it almost turned into like a into like a, a hand roll, a California hand roll. Mm. That is super. That's just like smoky. Herbaceous sausage with all those herbs, with the sweet fish sauce dressing, almost like pineapple-y. The rice paper is so thin, but when you pick it up, it's it's so dry and um, almost feels like a piece of plastic. It feels like a plastic bag. But then, as soon as you start loading it up with vegetables, I think it's just the water, the water, the ex the little bits, of driplets of water on the vegetables that actually. Uh, make it soft almost immediately. Um, so it almost goes from like plasticky to like noodley within seconds. I'm gonna add this guy. And I think I might go in with a sausage as well. I wanna scoop up some of that, that scallion oil and peanuts as well. We do not want those to go to waste. Uh, the pickled vegetables. And then just add some, give it some heat. That was insanely delicious. Uh, like I said, I think this might really be one of my favorite meals to eat in Vietnam. Just the combination of those little, they're almost like kebab skewers of meat, uh, but that extra herbaceous touch from the wild beetle leaf uh, just gives it that extra herbaceous green flavor and then that beautiful that beautiful like char on the outside gives it a wonderful smoky smokiness to it so this is a very common thing to eat on the streets of Saigon at night uh, but this place is nice because it's open for lunch and also for dinner so you can come in here throughout the day to have a delicious meal uh, and another thing I like about this restaurant is that even though you pay more here uh, probably double here than on the street. Uh, definitely the bolalot, they were bigger in size, almost double the size, and also they were definitely really good quality. Additionally, with such, with such great food, the, this restaurant, the people here are so nice. Uh, yeah, they gave us a free couple of sampler dishes, uh, and they are just, yeah, like in so many restaurants in Saigon, uh, the people here are so nice and so friendly. You definitely need to use the wet wipes after a meal like this. At least your hands should be dripping in juices. 
if you ate well. 